We're back with a long overdue sports card mail day as we have an entire desk full of nothing but sports cards. Try to catch me howling at the moon. That's not something you see every day, but only at trade night. This is Trevor Lawrence. How are we doing? Oh this is out of this world. Today is definitely the craziest day ever at a card show. A lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day, so. All right, what's going on, YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today, we're back with a long overdue sports card mail day. Some of these packages we've had for a little while now, probably a few weeks. So I'm excited to get in here and see what we've got. I'm going to guess 10 plus packages once again, probably closer to 15, uh, but got an entire box full here. So let's just get right into it and see what we've got. So much, I'm not sure I'll remember what all these are, but it'll be fun to kind of go through with you guys and see what we've got here. All right, first one up. All right, very cool. So if you watched, might've been the last mail day video, honestly. We had talked about this when I got a Chris Johnson auto, uh, about how back in the day, Chris Johnson had used to have uh, full signature autos on rookies and stars. I talked about this in the video. Well, I went to search for him on eBay afterwards because we were looking to reference the photo in the video and saw one available. It was like 30, 35, 40 bucks. It wasn't very expensive. And I was like, I'm totally gonna buy this. This is so cool not to buy. Again, this was a big deal in 2008 when I was younger in the hobby. Um, just kind of tells you how long I've been in it, but it's uh, it was too cool not to buy. Full signature Chris Johnson. Now again, there are some that are not full signature um, that were, again, the difference wasn't as big back then until people like caught on that he didn't sign this a lot. So I was like, you know what? This is, this is something I really remember about my early days in collecting. I'm going to buy one. So very, very cool, but definitely one I intend to keep. All right. Next package here. looks like another eBay purchase. I'm going to say, Let's see what this is. Oh yeah. So somebody had a bunch of Brady Quinn. This is, again, more uh, like childhood collecting stuff. Somebody had a bunch of Brady Quinn stuff on eBay. Um, I thought I bought another one, so I'll double check. Uh, but I got a Contenders Auto 2007. Brady Quinn went to one of the Dublin high schools, which is about 15 minutes from where I grew up. Um, Ohio State played a, uh, Brady Quinn in 2006 in the Fiesta Bowl, because I think AJ Hawk was dating Brady Quinn's sister. I think they're actually married now. Um, so she came to the game like a Brady Hawk, AJ, a Brady Quinn, AJ Hawk, like half Jersey. Um, so it was cool. I, I got to watch him growing up. And obviously I've talked about it a million times. 2007 is probably my favorite class of all time. Uh, Revis, Peterson, Lynch, Calvin, Joe Thomas, Brady Quinn, Jamarcus Russell, Ginn, Troy Smith, Pittman, Gonzalez, like so many guys, Buckeyes and non-Buckeyes, just really an all-time legendary class. Um, but the slideshow autos are actually really cool. It's hard to see in the video, like, above. Um, but this is actually a... Again, the slideshow auto actually has a photo from the rookie premiere that year. So, just a really cool card. Again, not uh, not the fanciest, not the most expensive, but one of 30. I have the Joe Thomas. I have the Peterson. Um, so, I have a couple from that year. So, I'll probably try to pick these up just in time. Um, same thing with the 2007 contenders. I have a lot of those. Um... So I think it's just one of those things I'm just passively picking up and eventually at some point I'll probably end up with the set. All right, now this one is full full, so I'm not sure what this is. Um, oh, this actually, I, I do know what this is. Uh, this is from Slab Stocks. So I think you guys might appreciate this one. I got in, uh, yeah, this is cool. They were running a bunch of uh, player break, uh, player spots in Bowman Inception University in five cases. So I went on there and bought a couple different teams, or a couple different players. Um, Blake Corn was clearly one of them. Um, ended up with like Jackson, B. John Robinson. I got in two different ones. I don't know if this is the first one or the second one. It looks like the first one. The second one I didn't get as many players. The first one I, I did. And I will say this is uh it's been a while since I've joined a bunch of like breaks like this. Um, but I ended up, there was a Jameer Gibbs, Bijan Robinson, dual RPA that was hit. 
um, at like 25 or 50. Uh, and I did not win the, the duel. I didn't watch it, but they texted me afterwards and said uh, the Jameer Gibbs spot had won it. So that was disappointing, but still uh, still did okay. Some of these spots were actually really, really cheap. Um, you know, Hendon Hooker, I think, was just over 100 bucks. Bijan was just over 100 But, like, I got guys like some of the Buckeyes. Bruce Thornton, Zach Harrison, Bryce Sensabaugh. I got some of those guys cheap, cheap. So, like, under 50 bucks. So, here's some of what I got. Uh, Bruce Thornton Auto. Uh, that's a gold to a 50. I think that might be jersey number. To a 50. That's cool. Uh, then some Hendon Hooker uh, base. Uh, Hendon Hooker base auto. Another base auto. Out of 99. And then a uh, gold horizontal auto out of 100. So, not bad for Hendon Hooker for five cases. Zach Harrison. Zach Harrison. Uh, I think this was just a super cheap one. BJ Ojolari at a 75. Uh, Bijan. Bijan. Uh, Bruce Sensabaugh, but that's not Bruce Sensabaugh. Um, forget who this was. I don't I don't follow it closely enough. But that's not uh, that's not Bryce Sensabaugh. That's, uh, uh, it's, I don't think it's Roddy Gale. I'd have to look at it. But the picture is actually wrong. Um, I saw it on Twitter um, right when it came out, and I'm like, that's not uh, Bryce Sensabaugh. That's uh, someone else. I think Sensabaugh will end up being like a uh, – I thought he was going to be a first-rounder originally, but we'll see. He was in – I don't know if he ended up pulling out or not. He was supposed to go pro. I think he'll end up staying in it one and done. I think he's from like Akron or Youngstown area, but could be good. Obviously, it hasn't had any like major, major basketball players since probably like D'Lo. Um, we'll see. Got Drew Aller relatively cheap. He actually sells well. Penn State kid. Got a gold and a base. Two base. I didn't realize we got two. And then got Corum. Um, ended up with a 99 and then three base rookies. Again, he sells well in shop. So, got those. So, yeah. Nothing super crazy, but some cool stuff. All right. So, our next package here. Don't recognize the, the handwriting. It looks like it's signed. I'm not sure. I feel like I should know this, but I don't know. Oh, this is from, this is from, no, this is actually really cool. My man could have got me a, a team bag for sure. Uh, I'm going to give him some crap for that, but uh, I think that's supposed to be protection for the card, but the team bag would have done that. Um, this is actually really cool. Cole McCoy, Peyton Hillis, Greg Little auto. I think this might be the only Browns auto that Peyton Hillis has. Uh, it's from 2011, I think. Yeah, 2011 Tops Precision. Uh, Greg Little's rookie year. Cole McCoy was a rookie in like, what, 2000? Was it 11? I thought it was 10 or I don't remember. One of those years, 10 or 11. Um, but Peyton Hillis, again, Browns legend for a year and a half. Madden cover, like dominated the Patriots one year. Uh, was a big deal around here, like when he was around. I always talk about it. It was one of the greatest college backfields ever. And Peyton Hillis... Darren McFadden and Felix Jones at Arkansas. Um, but I got this like super cheap. I thought this would be a cool card for the shop. So again, oddball pickup, but I get it. It's not uh, anything crazy, but I thought it was just cool because at one point uh, he was a, uh, it was a pretty big deal around here. Um, I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is a lot I bought. This is actually cool. I bought this um, on High G. Pretty cool two-card lot here. Uh, you guys know I've been picking up some T-Law stuff going into the year. I got it in the sport. So this is a ticket, big ticket signature. This is from Leaf in the game used. Um, uh, Wayne Field, homecoming, Saturday. I think this is like a Trevor Lawrence high school ticket, I think is what this is. Is this an authentic autograph or an, an authentic college ticket from a game Trevor Lawrence participated in? But it says Wayne Day Family Field Carter Finley Stadium Homecoming. No refunds or exchanges. I think that's where T Law's from. So I don't think this is a college game. I could probably ask Leaf, but I don't think it's a college game. But it's a really cool card. Like, if this was a Panini or Tops thing, it would be super, super cool. Like, it, it would really, really sell well on the hobby. Like, if there was a Trevor Lawrence Panini NT. You could get a ticket signed from like the national championship Trevor Lawrence is in, and it was signed. It would sell for a ton of money. Like it would be really cool. Um, they don't get enough love because it's Leaf. So, as a collector, I think this is pretty cool. So, I'm a big T Law guy. 
got to meet him. Pulling for this guy for sure. Um, so I like that. And then obviously, uh, 15 of 23, um, one off the jersey number. But cracked ice. PSA 8, 10. Um, but it's cool because I have a PSA 8 Pro Auto. So it'll, uh, it'll look good next to that. But T-Law, not a bad little two-card package there. Moving along. This was into the shop, so I don't know what this is. Looks to be empty. This might have been a cheap purchase. I don't really remember. There's no note. More T-Law. That makes sense. Only fitting. Um, I think this might have been like a cheap eBay purchase. It's got a little, little dent on it. Oh, no. That might have been from the post office, honestly. Soft sleeve had a... Like, can you guys see that? It got on the card a little bit, but it's not nearly as bad. The soft sleeve got the worst of it. But it's a, what, $15 jersey? So, more T-Law. All right, still have quite a bit of packages left. Shout out to those of you still here, still watching, still supporting the channel. Appreciate you guys so so much stay tuned we've got some uh cool stuff coming up shout out to everybody who uh helped us get to 100k um i know i'll talk more about that when we get to the uh the 100k video but appreciate those of you uh still watching again still supporting the channel and helped us get to 100k it means a ton so uh, just know i appreciate it for sure um this one says thanks for all you do bregman cards oh uh, this is so I misspoke on, I think, the last email. I picked up a couple Donnie Nicky autos, but the ones I showed last time were in a trade. Uh, these were actually eBay purchases. Um, so a couple Donnie Nicky autos at a 200 for the PC. Again, don't get them super often because they don't pop up a ton, but try to grab cheap ones when I can. All right, this one, Korea Post. Hmm. I actually don't have any idea what this is. Packaged very, very, very well. It's got bubble wrap, some thin top loaders. Oh, yeah, very cool. I forgot about this. Somebody sent me the link to this. I bought this a long time ago. Makes sense where I'm... I mean, I'm obviously late on mail, but it's obviously coming from Korea. Uh, Denzel Burke. Shout out to Tops and Panini and NIL and, right, all that stuff because you can have... College player in uh, in products now. Denzel Burke, the number one corner on Ohio State right now. We'll see what happens this year, but 101 Super Factor for the PC. I have the Jackson Smith and Jigbo 101 Auto. Um, so another, uh, another Buckeye Super for the PC. Always love picking those up. You guys know. Anytime you can get a 101 Super Factor in a mail day, it's a good mail day. This one... This one's got some weight to it. For a little package, this thing's, this thing's definitely got something in it. Dude, I have no idea what this is. Not even the slightest clue. What could this be? Oh, this is awesome. We talked about this. If you watch the Ship Shawana vlog, I talked with Mikey B about this. He had a Peyton Manning 2008 Topps Letterman booklet. At his table, it's like thousand bucks, twelve hundred bucks. Spells out Manning. You've opened the booklet. If you watch the show pickups videos, show vlogs, uh, when we went to Mint, we got one of Steven Jackson. They don't pop up very often, uh, but they were inserted in packs and they were full booklets. This is one here. Uh, but in two thousand and eight, Matt Ryan was a rookie and Chris Johnson was a rookie. It was the only time I would have been able to spell my full name with any Letterman sets. So I thought it was really cool. I found Matt Ryan on eBay the other day. I don't know what I was searching. Maybe Matt Ryan letter auto, maybe Chris Johnson. I don't, I don't remember, but I found this and I had to buy it. Spells my name. It's Matt Ryan's autograph, but it does spell my name. So I thought that was actually really, really cool. I would love to be able to get the Chris Johnson one, um, have my full name, right? Um, but I thought that was actually pretty neat to be able to have my, my name on a booklet. Again, it's not mine, it's Matt Ryan's, but you get the idea out of 10, right? Just to complete a Letterman set. Like I know Letterman's are always popular. We talk about it all the time, about how people collect them. Thought it was a really cool card. So I thought that was uh, that was something neat to get. 
The fact that all the letters were on the book, signed, numbered to 10. Really, really cool. Wasn't very expensive, but I bid to not lose on it. So probably went more than most Matt Ryan autos do, but it's for the PC. All right. Boys. So this is for the 2007 exquisite set I'm working on. I've uh, been picking up a couple of these here and there where they make sense. This is an Anthony Gonzalez 2007. Uh, Ohio State Buckeye had an amazing big catch uh, 2006 against Michigan, driving in the final 90 seconds. Uh, caught it on like the what the 11 yard line. Big time catch by Gonzo. Um, then after football life was on the Colts for a little while, obviously, and then became a U.S. Senator for Ohio. Um, but I don't think that lasted very, very long, but not very expensive. So obviously this one serves multiple purposes being a Buckeye, Buckeye great. Um, and then I'm going to try to complete the 2007 exquisite set uh, as time goes on. All right, still going here. This one's from Sean. Name doesn't ring a bell. Oh, just a relatively cheap and inexpensive Sean Wade for the PC. I tried to pick up the out of 25s, cracked ice, golds, stuff like that of Sean Wade. This one was like 4 or $5. So not very expensive, but 20 of 25 Sean Wade for the PC. I talk about it a lot, but Buckeye and Patriot. It's a win in my book. All right, got a couple more here. I'll set that one there. There's still a couple even after this. eBay standard envelope. Haven't got a lot in standard envelope, so curious to see what this one is. I didn't know you could send thick cards through standard envelope, standard envelope, truthfully. A little, little chippy on the old T-Law, but just a cheap T-Law jersey. I don't think it was very expensive. But again, I didn't even know you could send thick stuff through there. This one's, <laughs> this is how long mail day is. Either this took forever to get to me, or we're really behind in mail day. This was shipped on April 24th. We're in June. It looks like it's seen a couple things. So this one looks like it, uh... Had a rough time getting to Columbus, Ohio. Makes sense. Uh, another one for the exquisite set. Out of 225, John Beck. QB for the Dolphins back in the day. So another one across off the list. Kind of a cool patch there. But John Beck out of 225. All right. I think, these are, I think we've got four left here. So four left. Well, this is from Justin. We'll send to the shop. Looks like we've got a, a note. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, Ryan. Uh, just quickly, I'm a big fan. Saw your big league unboxing video trying to pull yourself. During said video, you mentioned willingness to sign cards for fans who requested so. Uh, so in close is a pre-stamped bubble mailer to mail back. Well, we need that. Yep. I appreciate Bobby Lights mail back. Thank you and sorry this letter comes off demanding. You often seem very busy and I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Nah, definitely busy, but definitely uh, very honored to sign this. I don't know if I have a marker on me. I don't think I do. Um, so I will get one and I will sign this. I wish I would have known. I will, uh, I'll get a marker, but very, very cool. It's actually the first one I've gotten uh, through the mail. So this is very cool. Thank you, Justin. I will, uh, I will sign this and I will send this right back out to you. So, yeah, thank you again. Already got it addressed and everything. So thank you. I'll uh, I'll sign this and I'll get this back in the mail. Happy to sign. Um, very very cool. Super uh, humbling to be able to be in it and uh, have cards. So definitely we'll get it signed and, and sent back out to you. All right, this is from Scott. I don't know this. Another one. Nice little sticker. like John Beck or uh, Trent Edwards John Beck's the Dolphins guy Trent Edwards exquisite RPA man these are cool cards yeah Marshawn Lynch is gonna be one of the tougher ones to get out of 225 um, of Trent Edwards I think Marshawn's out of 99 though he has an out of 99 and out of 25 so a little lower numbered but Trent Edwards nice patch so another one for the exquisite set I think this is 
yeah, this is actually the second, so it's funny, I didn't know this was coming. I uh, got the first Lab Stocks break. This is actually the second one. So, this one I did not do nearly as well in, I don't think. I think this one was pretty rough for, for me. I had some cool stuff. They had a Victor Auto in the second case, or the second 5K break. But this one, uh, I don't think was as favorable to me. Alright, so... You can see I got some great players. Uh, Luke Altmaier, I don't even know I won him. Hayden Thorne, Trevor Etienne, I bought a hodgepodge of players apparently. Trevor Etienne, Trevor Etienne, Peyton Thorne had a 50, Peyton Thorne, Peyton Thorne, apparently that paid off. Luke Altmaier, and then Jackson. So, ended up with uh, a couple different guys, and it uh, didn't, I actually think, I don't think this was the second break. I think I'm still waiting on that. Um, I think what happened was is a couple of players went unsold. Jackson was one of them. Uh, they went unpaid for, and I bought Jackson, and then he said, hey, do you want these as well, and you can buy these. So I think I ended up buying these super, super cheap. Peyton Thorne clearly worked out because I got three autos of that dude. Uh, I think he ended up transferring anyways to, like, Auburn or something, so it probably doesn't do me much good. Um, but I think that's what that was. That's probably a separate package because I bought those separately. All right, well, we got one more here. Another standard envelope. It's, like, taped. I don't want to cut it. There we go. Perfect. Again, I did not know you could send thick cards through standard envelope. Actually, it looks like it's in good condition, too. So, uh, Tony Hunt. So, yeah, not, a, not the most luxurious, you know, Tom Brady, Michael Jordan kind of mail day, but... 2007 Exquisites, being a collector. I've uh, I've loved building sets before, so I think it's kind of fun to look back and build a set like this as one that, you know, 14-year-old Ryan would have been pretty cool to be able to collect back in the day. So I think a 2007 Exquisite set will be a fun one to complete here at the end. So the last couple of maildays, we've had a few. I know there's more coming. Um, yeah, excited to continue to build that. But shout out to everybody who made it this far. We do have some cool card content coming soon. Uh, like I said, if you've made it here, Really supporting the channel. I know 100K video is coming soon. We're working on that now, I promise. Um, but yeah, fun mail day. Got some fan mail to sign. Uh, Peyton Hillis autos. Trevor Lawrence jerseys and autos. Uh, breaks. A Matt Ryan nameplate. So much more. So another fun mail day. But again, guys, stay tuned. More cool card content coming soon. That's all I got for now, guys. Peace.